Hello everyone, my name is Z, and this is another how-to instructional video from Progressive Automations. Today I'll be showing you how to wire a 7-pin LED rocker switch to a linear actuator. I will also go through wiring the switch without LEDs, so you can use the same instructions to wire a regular 6-pin rocker switch. In order to control a linear actuator in the forward and reverse direction, you will need a double pole double throw rocker switch. If you don't need LEDs, you can use the RC1 or RC3 6 pin rocker switch. For this video, I will use the RC11 7 pin non momentary LED rocker switch. It also comes in a momentary version called the RC10. On the bottom of our switch, you will see 7 pins. The pin labeled as pin 7 is for the LED. On a switch without LEDs, such as the RC1 or RC3, you only have 6 pins. Right now, the switch is in the neutral position. This means that none of the pins are connected together. If you push one side of the switch, the two pins in the middle will connect to the two pins on the opposite side that you have pressed. For example, if I push this side, then this middle pin will connect to this pin, and this middle pin will connect to this pin. Keep in mind that the switch is divided into two sets of pins, left and right. The pins on the opposite sides of the switch do not come in contact with each other. Here I have drawn the pins from the bottom perspective. The pin numbers I'm using are the numbers written on the bottom of the RC11 and RC10 switch. This will be the wiring diagram that we need to follow to wire a linear actuator. We will start wiring the switch as if it was a 6-pin rocker switch without LEDs. As I mentioned earlier, pin 7 is a dedicated pin for the LED. That is why there is nothing connected to it at the moment. For this demonstration, I'll be using the wires and plugs from the AC17 wiring kit. This wiring kit comes with a number of useful components such as inline fuses, diodes, and limit switches. I'll be crimping plugs directly onto the actuator and power supply to allow an easy and direct connection to the rocker switch pins. Let's start off with the power supply. Here I'm using a PS20-12-67 to allow me to plug into an AC outlet. Now if your application is on a car or a boat, you could use the 12 volt battery as well. The red wire is typically positive, but you should always make sure with a multimeter. Here I have the positive going to pin 2 and common going to pin 5. Now let's move on to the actuator. As you can see in the wiring diagram, we have actuator positive connecting to pin 3 and pin 4, actuator negative connecting to pin 6 and pin 1. Here I have connected the actuator positive to pin 3 with this wire, and I have a jumper wire connected to the plug onto pin 4. I've done the same for the negative side. When I press the up direction on the switch, the actuator extends. When I press the down, the actuator retracts. If you want your actuator to go the opposite direction, simply switch the positive and negative. Now that we've covered how to wire a regular rocker switch with six pins, making use of that LED requires one very small addition. All you have to do is wire pin seven to common. I simply installed the new plug with a jumper wire coming from the power supply common to pin seven. Pressing up turns on the upper LED, pressing down turns on the lower LED. There you have it. Your LED rocker switch and linear actuator combination is ready to go. If you like what you saw, stay tuned on our YouTube channel for more instructional videos and cool projects. Also, check out our actuators, control systems, and accessories at www.progressiveautomations.com. Take care, and I will see you soon.